everybody. It is the beginning of a brand new week. My name is Sophie. I'm Sophie from sophie-world.com and I want to welcome you to Storytime with Sophie. So I am doing Storytime Monday through Friday, 9.30 a.m. and I'm streaming live and so much fun stuff to get to today, so we might as well get started. So if you're just joining me and you want to put in the comments that you are here and let me know your name so I can give you a little shout out, that would be awesome. I hope you enjoy the stories that I have for you today. And you know, if you leave here and you want to come back and check out all of the other story times that I've done, you can come to my Facebook Live page or go to sophie-world.com. You can connect to my YouTube page and you can see some of them there too. So let's get started. Let's say hello, shall we? Let's wave. Hello, how are you? What shall we do today? Shall we jump up and down? Stand where you are and jump up and down and sit where you are and jump up and down and stand where you are and jump up and down. I'm so glad to see you. Hmm, let's see. What do you say if we rock side to side? What do you think? Sit where you are and rock side to side and sit where you are and rock side to side. Sit where you are and rock side to side. If we twirl around in a circle, can you twirl in a circle like a ballerina? Here we go. Twirl, 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 round and round and twirl, twirl, twirl. Don't fall down. Twirl, 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 round and round. I'm so glad to see. Okay, let's do my personal favorite. We're gonna make some funny faces. Like a fun body, and a funny happy hand. I'm so glad to see. You. Okay, everybody, let's wave hello. Hello, how are you all? How are you all? How are you? I'm just fine today. Hi, everybody. So I have some really fun books for you. I have to tell you, it's a very gloomy, gloomy day here in San Francisco. It's kind of overcast and it rained this morning. So I thought it might be fun to re read some stories about rainbows and color and all kinds of fun stuff like that. So let's get started. It looks like, let me just see, Maya's here. Hi, Maya. Okay. To start our book, we're going to read The Rainbow Goblins. Now I have to tell you, the first page of The Rainbow Goblins has a lot of words, but I promise there are less words after we get started and the pictures in here are amazing. This is called The Rainbow Goblins and it is by U de Rico, The Rainbow Goblins. Look at all that beautiful color. Isn't that amazing? Doesn't that make you want to just dive right in? That will clear up any, any gloomy day. The Rainbow Goblins by U Del Rico. The Rainbow Goblins. I don't know if you can see them, but those are the goblins. The Rainbow Goblins. Once, let's see, let me get myself situated so I'm right in the right area so you can see the picture while I'm reading. Okay. Once there was a land that lived in fear of seven goblins. Now let me show you the picture first just so you have this in your head while I read this part to you. Look at this beautiful, wait, let's get it in there. Look at this beautiful, beautiful valley. Once there was a land that lived in fear of seven goblins. They were called the Rainbow Goblins, and each had his own color, which was also his name. There was red, 
orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Yellow, being the craftiest, was their chief. The goblins lived on color. They prowled the valleys and climbed the highest mountains looking for rainbows. And when they found one, they caught it in their lassos and sucked the color out of it and filled their bellies with its bright liquid. Only one place in the land had never known goblin fear, the hidden valley called the Valley of the Rainbow, where the great arches of color were born. There the animals lived in paradise. But the rainbow goblins had heard tales of this valley, and their mouths watered whenever they thought of the feast that awaited them there. And so they gathered up their lassos and their pails, and they set off. With great effort, the goblins made their way over the jagged piles of rocks that guarded the entrance. And when the climbing became difficult, Yellow roared, Don't lose heart, comrades! Think of the delicious colors ahead! Let me show you this beautiful valley one more time. Isn't that gorgeous? And look, there's some happy elephants and giraffes. Looks like some foxes and bunnies. And the beautiful, beautiful hills in the back. It's a beautiful place. But to get there, the goblins had to go over the treacherous rocks. But see what's over on the other side? <gasps> That beautiful, beautiful, mouth-watering rainbow. The sun had almost set by the time they reached their goal, the very meadow over the rainbow and where it sprang to life. Immediately beneath the meadow, they found a cave. We'll spend the night here, the yellow goblin commanded. Ooh, look at them. There they are. They found a beautiful, beautiful spot to hide, didn't they? A really neat, craggy rock. When the moon rose and they, and they saw the, excuse me, the moon rose and saw them warming themselves around the fire they had lit, it shouted out an alarm. The Lambert Goblins are in the valley! This is the moon who was just shouting out that. The moon goblins are in the valley! The trees and the bushes took up the cry, and the flowers and the grasses and the animals and the waters passed it on, and by midnight the evil tidings had spread throughout the valley. There's the moon. See the moon up there? And he spread the word to everybody. The goblins could hardly contain their excitement. Soon all oh, the colors of the rainbow will be ours, Yellow gloated. <clears throat> we'll snatch it as it rises, said Green. When the colors are still fresh and creamy, the blue goblin cackled. <laughs> Look at the roots dangling from the walls. They're straining to hear our plans. A lot of good it will do them or their friends, the rainbow. So there they are making their plans. Can you see that? There they are making their plans. But here... Here are all of the roots looking down at them, and they're kind of taking in all that information. Those roots are hanging down. Finally, exhausted by their scheming, the goblins fell asleep. Outside, the moon shone on the mirror-like surface of the water, and its magical light was reflected into the cave. Then all seven goblins had a wonderful dream, the same wonderful dream about the paradise of Rainbow Land, where all you had to do was lie on your back and open your mouth and most succulent colors dripped down your throat. The dream went on and on and the greedy goblins drank and drank and drank. And at dawn, just when their bellies were about to burst, 
they were awakened by the distant clap of thunder. Look at that dream that they're having. Can you see all those colors? And they're sucking down the colors. Like they're, they're having big milkshakes, colorful milkshakes. The goblins sprang to their feet and rushed to the mouth of the cave. A storm! A storm! Red shouted. Oh, look how the wind is driving it towards us, Orange cried. And all the goblins danced and pranced about with glee, for they knew that after the wildest storm came the most beautiful of rainbows. Oh, look, they're dancing around. Look how happy they are. Yellow was so proud of his plan of attack that he went over it again while each goblin tested his lasso. Red, don't forget that you must seize the left flank. And I'm moving on the right, Violet Goblin burst out excitedly before the last clap of thunder had faded from the valley. The goblins took up their pails and lassos and marched single file out of the cave. There they go. Look at that lightning. Doesn't that lightning look terrifying? The sight that greeted them when they reached the meadow took their breath away. The rising arch of the rainbow, so rich with color and promise, almost blinded them. Trembling with excitement, Yellow finally managed to give the signal to attack. Look at the beautiful rainbow there. Can you see that? And look, there they are in the grass. The goblins swung their lassos around and around and hurled them into the sky. But at that same instant, the rainbow vanished, as if it had been swallowed up by the earth. The goblins were dumbfounded. Nothing like this had ever happened to them before. And they stared up at their empty, outstretched lassos. Now see, in those lassos, they normally would have caught the rainbow, but there's nothing there. Which, a second later, snapped back at them. Indigo wept, blue cursed, Yellow stumbled, orange cried out, treachery! Violet tumbled to the grass, red raged, but the more they thrashed about, the more tangled they became in their own lassos, until they had snarled themselves into a grunting, groaning mass of goblins on the ground. I want to make sure you see, oh, look at them. They are all tangled up. As they lay there helplessly, a flood of colors poured forth from all the flowers of the meadow. <gasps> the flowers, screamed the blue goblin. The flowers. He suddenly remembered the dangling roots that he had made fun of in the cave. Through their roots, the flowers had heard the goblin's plan, and they had devised a counter plan to save the rainbow. The moment the attack was launched, the flowers had drained the colors of the rainbow into their petal, and as soon as the goblins became ensnared in their own lassos, the petals had let loose the deluge. So the goblins drowned in the colors that they had come to steal, and no one in the valley wept for them. The rainbow itself was reborn, more magnificent than ever, and out of gratitude, it lifted up the flowers that had saved it and transformed them into glittering dragonflies and butterflies and splendidly plumed birds. Aren't they beautiful? That's the rainbow transforming everything. And look. Oh, look at the magnificent rainbow and the beautiful birds, dragonflies, and butterflies. But since that time, the rainbow has become more cautious. And now when it arches across the sky, it is careful not to touch the earth anywhere. 
And no matter how you try to sneak up on it, you can never come to the place where it begins or ends. And that is the ending of The Rainbow Goblins by U de Rico. Isn't that neat? I love the pictures in this. I know there's a lot of words, but it's an interesting story, don't you think? And it's interesting how those rainbow goblins just wanted to suck up all that wonderful, amazing color for themselves. Well, we're going to sing a song about a rainbow. It goes like this. Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow true. Listen with your eyes, listen with your eyes, and sing everything you see. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing along with me. Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow true. Maybe next time you see a rainbow, you could sing about it. You could sing about all the colors that you see. Maybe you could sing about the rain that might still be in the sky, because often you'll find that a rainbow is formed after there's rain. So maybe the next time you see a rainbow, instead of drawing it, you could sing about it. So I have another book for you, and this one is also about colors. It's called Where is the green she? And this is by Mem Fox, with pictures by Judy Horasek. Where is the green sheep? Here is a blue sheep. And here is a sheep. Here is a bath sheep. And here is a bed sheep. But where is the green sheep? I didn't see a green sheep, did you? Here is a thin sheep. And here is a wide sheep. Here is a swing sheep. And here is a slide sheep. Whee! But where is the green sheep? Here is an up sheep. And here is a down sheep. Here is a band sheep. I wonder what kind of music he's playing. And here is a clown sheep. Dun, 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 dun. But where is the green sheep? Ah, here is a sun sheep. And here is a rain sheep. Here is a car sheep, beep, beep. And here is a train sheep. <laughs> Certainly are a lot of animals in that train. But no green sheep. Where is the green sheep? Here is a wind sheep. And here is a wave sheep. Here is a scared sheep, and here is a brave sheep. I understand why that sheep is scared. But where is the green sheep? 
Here is a mere sheep. And here is a four sheep. Here is a moon sheep. And here is a star sheep. But where is the green sheep? Okay, let's take a look. I see a bunch of sheep here. Let's see. I see a sheep in a parachute. I see a dancing sheep. I see a sheep with a phone and a briefcase. I see a sheep with a bicycle and two sheeps having tea. I see a sheep with wings and a whole bunch of sheep making a human pyramid, or I should say a bovine pyramid or a sheepy pyramid. And I see a Carmen Miranda sheep with fruit on his head and a crying sheep. Oh, and two sheep in a sandbox and a sheep in a boat. Do you see the sheep in the boat? And there's one swimming underneath doing some snorkeling. And there's one who's looking at himself in the, in the lake reflection. My goodness, there's so many sheep here. There's one wearing a welder's helmet and having some flowers in his hand. And there's a birthday party going on with a red, purple, and yellow sheep. Oh, and there's definitely a singing and laughing sheep right here. But does anybody see a green sheep? I don't see a green sheep. Where is that green sheep? Oh, turn the page quietly and let's take a peek. <gasps> Here's the green sheep fast asleep. You know why we didn't see him? He's behind a green bush. And that is where is the green sheep. Well, I think since we read a story about sheep, let's sing a song about sheep. How about if we sing? Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere Mary went, Mary went, Mary went, oh, the lamb was sure to go. He followed her to school one day, school one day, school one day. He followed her to school one day, which was against the rules. It made the children laugh and play, laugh and play, laugh and play. It made the children laugh and play to see a lamb at school. Uh oh. The lamby out, the lamby out, oh teacher turned the lamby out, cause it was against the rules. Well, you have to understand that, right? Why does the lamb love Mary so, Mary so, Mary so? Why does the lamb love Mary so? The children want to know. Who's Mary loves the lamb? I just thought of something. What if Mary had had a little lamb whose fleece was green as grass? That would change the whole song, wouldn't it? Hmm. I'm gonna have to think about that one. I might have to rewrite the song. Now, I have one last book for you, and that is called A Color of His Own. And this is by my favorite author, Leo Leone. Now, sadly, you guys, this is going to be the last Leo Leone book for a long time until I can figure out where to get them. So if you've got any ideas on how I can get library books, because I'm, I'm quickly running out of my own library books, um, let me know, because since we're in shelter mode, 
it's hard to find books. I'm, I'm seeing what I can do about the digital books, but I'm not quite there yet. Some of you guys have been very, very helpful with all of your suggestions, but just trying to get there, and I will get there. I know I will. It's all part of learning this new technology. Okay, this is called A Color of His Own by Leo Leone. A Color of His Own. Own by Leo Leone. Parrots are green and goldfish are red. Elephants are gray and pigs are pink. All animals have a color of their own. except for chameleons. They change colors wherever they go. Hmm, can you help me with these colors? I see blue. And who sees yellow? Where's the yellow? Anybody see yellow? <gasps> right, there's yellow. And how about green? Does anybody see green? <gasps> there's green. Anybody see green? There's green. And we have one last color here. What is that color? It's purple. Very good. On lemons, they are yellow. And in heather, they're purple. Isn't that funny? That's the same chameleon, but he changes colors wherever he goes. And on a tiger, they are striped like a tiger. One day, a chameleon who was sitting on a tiger's tail said to himself, If I remain on a leaf, I shall be green forever. And so I too will have a color of my own. And with that thought, he cheerfully climbed onto the greenest leaf. But in autumn, the leaf turned yellow. And so did the chameleon. Uh-oh. There might be a little something wrong with his plan, huh? Later, the leaf turned red. And the chameleon, too, turned red. And then the winter winds blew the leaf from the branch. And with it, the chameleon. Uh-oh. The chameleon was black in the long winter night. But when spring came, he walked out into the green grass and there he met another chameleon and he told him his sad story. Well, we don't have to have a color of our own. Why don't we, why don't we ever have a color of our own? I'm afraid not, said the other chameleon, who was older and wiser. But, he added, why don't we stay together? We will still change color wherever we go, but you and I will always be alike. And so they remained side by side, and they were green together. And purple and yellow and red with white polka dots and they lived happily ever after and that is the story of a color of his own a chameleon who was looking for something that could be all his very own he may not have been able to find a color of his own, but he certainly did find a way to be happy, didn't he? Well, guys, that brings us to the end of story time for today, but I'll be back tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for more stories and more songs. Now, let me just check real quick who's here. I think Maya's 
here, so I'm going to make sure that we sing in the goodbye song, Maya. Goodbye, Gabby. Goodbye, Isabella. Goodbye, Madeline. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, River. Goodbye, Abby. Goodbye, Maya. I'll see you all next time. Well, guys, I will see you next time. But before we go, can't forget our hug. So take one hand, put it on your shoulder. Take the other hand, cross it over onto the other shoulder. Close your eyes and squeeze really tight. That's me giving you a big Monday morning hug. Make sure you come back tomorrow because I have a whole bunch of new stories planned. Bye, everybody. Have a great day.